So what's up guys hope you are doing well I am Mesh from TechMesh and today we have got a common yet frustrating issue on our hand a computer that refuses to turn off or even worse turns itself back on after you have shut it down but don't worry we have got you covered with a comprehensive guide to help you troubleshoot and fix this problem before we dive in make sure to hit that subscribe button and ring the notification bell so you never miss our helpful tech guides so let's get started shall we so you have hit the shutdown button but your computer Computer seems to ignore your command and or mysteriously powers back up so the first step is just here go to the search option in your windows and search for edit power plan so here you can see that I am typing edit power plan and then open your power plan here and after coming to your power plan here so here you need to click on this option here so just click here and now here you can see this is your power options here so here you need to like scroll down and here you can see PCI Express so click on this plus icon here and then here you can see the expanded window here just click on this settings and then here just toggle it back to turn off so you need to turn this settings off link state power management so you need to turn this option off and then click on apply and then hit ok after following this step and then you should go back so just click on this back icon here and then here you can see the option in the left hand side this is the option so you need to click on here and then here you can see like choose what the power button do so here you need to click here in this section toggle it and change it so here you can see that choose when I press power button so here you should select shutdown so here for sleep you should it should be selected to sleep but for shutdown for power button it should be selected to shut down so when you press the shutdown then your device should be shut down all right so the next step is to disable hyperboot so how you can do that i will show you that so at first you need to here click on your windows icon here and then here you need to click on run so after opening this run window here you need to type reg edit so here you can see this is the spelling reg edit and after typing it exactly as it is then you should hit enter or click on ok so now we have opened our registry editor so in our registry editor we need to go to this option h key local machine so expand this h key local machine and here you should select system so here you can see the system option so just click on here and expand the system option and then here you should search for current control set so you should expand the current control set and under current control set here you should search for control and you should expand the control here so here is the control so just expand this control here and then under control you should search for session manager so just scroll down and here you can see this is the session manager so you should expand this window here and then under session manager you should search for power so let's search for power here so here you can see the power option here so just click on here and you can see all these options available on the right hand side so from our right hand side we should search for this option here so we should like double click on this option then here we should change the value from 1 to 0 so if it is already 0 then don't worry and if it is 1 then you should change the value data to 0 and then click on ok and then you can close it and now the next step is to disable hibernate from our cmd so let's do that so first go to your search option and here search for common prompt or cmd and then here you can see this is the cmd so you need to run it as administrator so right click on here and click on run as administrator and in your cmd you need to type this command exactly as i am typing okay so this is the command so i am copying this command and i will paste the command in the command prompt so you can also like type the command by yourself but you have to type it exactly as it is so if the command is successful you won't get any output but you would see something like this so if you can type it perfectly then your command should be executed successfully all right so after executing this command then let's talk about some more solutions like the problem mainly occurs because of the update like if you don't update your device regularly then it is a good thing that you should regularly update your device so just go to your windows update and if you are using an intel device then you should use the intel management engine to 
update your drivers and everything and also like if you want you can also update your motherboard's driver so this is pretty important for this problem like this problem can occur for various types of reasons but the most common reason is due to the motherboard so you should update the drivers of your motherboard but i would highly suggest you to not update your bios because that usually messes up with other things so it will make the problem more complicated than it already is so if you want to check what motherboard you have then here go to your search option here and then here you should type for system information and go to your system information here and in your system information here you can see the motherboard manufacturer so here you can see i have a gigabyte motherboard and you can also see the motherboard product so here you can see that this is my motherboard product so here you should copy and search it in your google to find the correct driver for your motherboard's manufacturer and for the correct motherboard you have okay and there you have it a comprehensive guide to troubleshooting and fixing the issue of a computer not turning off or turning back on after shutdown remember to go through these steps systematically and hopefully your computer will be back to its normal functioning in no time if you found this guide helpful give it a thumbs up don't forget to subscribe for more tech guides and share it with anyone who might be facing similar issues. So thanks for turning into TechMesh and I will catch you in the next video.